what's going on everybody this is Island Hopper TV Hotels coming to you from the Hilton Vacation Club Flamingo Beach here in the island of St. Martin so I'm going to show you around the lobby real quick this is where you check in we've got a VIP check in here and yeah so you got the Lobby area. You can go upstairs there where some of the rooms are. We also have a Gidunk. I'll be showing you my room and the beaches here. Yeah, they've got a fully stacked Gidunk. By the way, in the room you have a refrigerator, a microwave. So that's good. But now let me show you the pool and the beach. Okay, so you can see you've got a building here with rooms, and most of the rooms are over here. My room's gonna be on the building seven. Big room, feels like an ice box in there. Air, con air conditioning works great. Got a barbecue here for those of you who wanna do that. I forget the name of this game here. Pickleball, maybe? I can't remember. Yeah, so you got the pool. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a jacuzzi here. I'm going to be doing some swimming tonight, that's for sure. But yeah, let me show you the beach now. Okay, so here's a look at the beach. Got a lot of rooms here. So they gave me the room that faces the parking lot. It looks like they have plenty of rooms that are available with a nice view. I'm going to be swimming down here tonight. Definitely. So if you just walk around the pathway here, you can see they've got even more beach for you to enjoy. Pick your corner of the beach here. And there's the pool again. Would you swim in the pool or would you swim in the beach? All right, so here we go. Seven two three zero floor here. So it's just like a mini apartment. Uh, if you're a diamond, they don't give any perks, is what she told me. So if you're a Hilton Diamond, Hilton Honor here, they don't do any perks. They just give you free water, she said. Um, no room upgrades available for Hilton Diamond either. So don't expect that. And no free breakfast. So this is my room planes that fly right over. I'd imagine they don't fly at night too late, hopefully, but nice view of a parking lot. Um, let's see what else they got in here. Extra blankets, towels. Iron. I'm assuming that's the desk. Okay. So, there you have it. 
nice room. It's very cool. Like the fans are working, everything's nice. That's good. Okay, now for my final review of the Hilton Vacation Club in St. Martin, known as the Flamingo Beach. So I'm currently in Anguilla. Uh, the hotel I'm at now, I'm not gonna be reviewing. Uh, I don't really think it's gonna be up to the par that you, know, you guys would be expecting. Um, anyway, going back to the Hilton Vacation Club. Nice hotel. It's got two beaches. I found that to be nice. Um, the thing that threw me off was I'm loyal to Hilton because of the rewards program. So, you know, the perks that go along with that, whether it be a free breakfast or whatever you get for a reward for being loyal to a brand. Here's the thing. Vacation Club is t totally separate from the other chain um, Hilton's. Even though it's got the name Hilton, it's a different style. It's a different, I don't know exactly what it is, but someone in the comments can tell me. Maybe I can make sense of it. The people there didn't really communicate exactly why they can't honor anything, but yeah, you just get free waters. No room upgrades. I mean, I would say half the hotel was booked. They could have given me an upgrade if they were <laughs> a Hilton property regular, but they didn't. I think they also include like Airbnbs or something. I think like people own those individually and then they rent them out kind of like a timeshare maybe. But uh, moving on beyond that, I didn't eat at the restaurant there. I ate at the restaurants down the road a bit. Uh, the area that the hotel is, you, it is a walking distance to get to any sort of nightlife, uh, maybe about 10 minutes. Um, parking is available. Uh, it's available pretty much everywhere. So if you rent a car, which I recommend in St. Martin, do rent a car. Uh, that's probably the best way to get around, but they have plenty of parking there and it was complimentary. Uh, the room I found to be comfortable. The AC, the fans worked great. That's a good thing. Um, would I stay there again? Yeah, if the price was a bit better. Um, but then again, St. Martin, the whole island, I mean, you're looking at at least a minimum of 250 a night. I, I guess it's peak season right now. Maybe you can get off season pricing will be better, I guess, during hurricane season. But Coming to the Caribbean during hurricane season is always risky. I mean, here on Anguilla, they talk about the 2017 hurricane that broke the record for like the strongest hurricane they've ever had uh, on record. I guess it went above a category five. Um, and you can see, I mean, some of the hotels never came back. Like they're still destroyed. Like all the windows are bust, busted out, shattered. And it's just the skeletons of the old hotel from 2017. Uh, so St. Martin probably being that it's just across the channel experienced the same pain that they experienced here in Anguilla. Although they didn't talk about it over there like they did here. Here it was really hit pretty hard. Uh, overall, nice hotel. I give it about a 4.7. Um, it seemed like it was more for older people. I didn't really see any young people there or families. Just keep that in mind. Um, so see you guys on the next one. I am going to review one more hotel from St. Martin, which I just did before I came to Anguilla. So we'll see you over there.